Hello everybody, this is Craig. One of you asked for some assistance with the continuous uniform distribution type problems and I thought I would do one that you asked about. Um, the continuous uniform distribution is a probability distribution <clears throat> and it is appropriate when the random variable that we're interested in has an equal opportunity of any value throughout its range. For example, the book talked about uh, th you're waiting for the appliance of a new refrigerator. They told you it'd be there between 1 and 3. Well, it has a just as equal, just as likely of a probability of arriving at 1 o'clock as it does at 1.30, as it does at 3 o'clock. You don't know that it's any more likely at one time than another. And in this case, uh, the, un the uniform probability distribution function is appropriate. Here is a graph I've shown on my uh, whiteboard here of the continu continuous uniform probability density function. Man, that's a lot of big words. And like all probability density functions, the area under that curve, or in this case it looks like a block, is equal to 1 and it's bound by A at one end, that's so over here, and B at the other end, and the height of this probability distribution is equal to 1 over B minus A. Now, let's see, how does that work? Why is it 1 over B minus A? Well, the area under here has to be 1, so let's just say uh, A was, um, let me get some things out of the way here so I can work. Okay, if A was uh, 20 and B was 40, the distance between A and B would be what? It would be 20. And let's see, what would 1 over B minus A be? Well, let's see, 1 over B minus A would equal to 1 over, well, 40 minus 20. 40 minus, oops. 20, which is equal to 1 over 20. And now if I calculated the area under the entire curve, I would multiply this dimension times that dimension. Well, we know what this height is. It's We just calculated it. It's 1 over 20. So the area would be, well, height. Let's call this height, and we'll call this width times uh, width, which equals, we just said the height, this 1 over b minus a is 1 20th. And when we multiply by the width, with this tw which is 20, we end up with that area of 1. So that's how this comes to be. All right, now let's use this in an example. There's planes arriving between 9.10 and 9.50. We say that the arrival time is a uniformly distributed random variable, and we want to know what the probability is that the plane arrives after 9.30, and also a second problem between 9.30 and 9.40. Well, okay, let's start with the first one. Plane arrives between 9.10 and 9.50. So I'm going to draw my probability uniform, continuous uniform probability distribution. It looks like this. Again, we have points A and B, but now we have some numbers to put with these points. <clears throat> we said it arrives between 9.10 and 9.50. So those are the limits. We were given those. So A is really equal to 9.10. B is really equal to 9.50. And we're going to do something else. Rather than dealing with these clock times, we're going to put it in terms of a range from 0 up to something. So if 9.10 was equal to 0 minutes, then this is 40 minutes later. Point B would be at 40 minutes. All right, what's the height of this box? Well, it's 1 over B minus A. So we can say that's equal to 1 over 40 minus 0. 
which equals 1 40th, which equals 0. Point, uh, sorry, grabbing my calculator. 1 divided by 40, 0. 0.025. OK. That is the height of the probability function. All right, now we were asked, um, what's the probability that a flight arrives after 925? Well, where's 925 in here? Let's see, the expected value, the mean would be <clears throat> right in the middle, which is uh, at 930. So 925 is a little bit to the left. This point is 925. And we want to calculate this area. That'll be the probability that our random variable is greater than, well, let's see, let's put it not in terms of uh, actual clock time, but let's put it in terms of uh, minutes. This would be equal to, let's see, it's 15 minutes after the zero time. So there's what we want to calculate. And to do that is fairly easy. Once you understand that, we're really just looking at this area. And with a uniform, continuous uniform probability density function, it's just a square. And all we got to do is multiply height times width. Well, I'll even write that out. Height times width. What is our height? Well, we just calculated it earlier. It's equal to this uh, 0 0.025. And what is our length? Well, it's this length right here we're interested in. This was our height. So let's see, it goes from 15 minutes up to 40. That's a total of, uh, let's see, 30. That'd be 25 minutes. And now, popping out my calculator again, 0 0.025, turn it on, 0 0.025, times 25, did I do that right? 40, 30, yeah. That's 0 0.625. There's our probability that it arrives then. OK, we had a second problem. What's the probability that it arrives between 9.30 and 9.40. Well, let me go in here and do some erasing. Ooh, didn't want to erase that one. Let's see if I can put her back in. How do I do that? Right here, huh? Good save, Craig. Okay, let's see. 9.30, where's that? That's a little bit Let's see, where's our expected value? Where's the mean? Again, we got 40 minutes, so 930. It's right from the mean all the way up to 940, which is somewhere over here. Here's the area we're looking for. Let's see, what's our probability look like? We're looking for the probability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that uh, we're greater than, let's see. We got to figure this out. 9:30. Now let me do some more erasing. Next problem. Where's 9:30 at? This is 9:30, and that would be 20 minutes in, wouldn't it? Yes. And this point is 9.40. And how many minutes would that be from the start? Well, let's see. The total is 40 minutes, so it would be 30 minutes. So we've got 20 minutes and 30 minutes are these two points. 
Here's 30 minutes. Here's 20. Hmm. Are we still recording? I hope so. Uh, let's see. So we want the probability that we're going between 30 and 40. Different problem. Don't get confused. All right, so, well, let's see. Again, we simply need to calculate the height times width. The height didn't change. Oopsie. Uh, so that's 0 0.025. And let's see, we go between 20 and 30 minutes. That's 10 minutes. And so our probability is uh, 0.25. That the plane arrives between 9.30 and 9.40. A 10-minute window in that 40-minute uh, window makes sense. All right, I hope that helps. I hope this video worked. Uh, this upgrade to Windows 10 has been a hassle. The actual initial upgrade was OK, but then it did this massive update a week ago, and I've lost files, and oh, what a mess it was. Still don't have my Windows 10 calculator, which I hated anyway, but uh, it's gone. I don't know where it is. OK, folks, hope that helps.